Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to The Bunny Garden, which is an upcoming horror game where you must give a cute bunny a hand with her farm. Hmm, game starts at a computer screen. Curious. Very curious indeed. The only game we can play is Bun. You do not have permission to access this application. Please contact your administrator. I am the administrator. No, seriously, I am. You can't run from me. No matter how many times you dance on the desktop, I'm gonna get you. Come back. Come here. Come in. Ben. There we go. Now what do we do? Welcome. L. You look familiar. L L F L R? I'm not sure. It could just be random, but I'm paying attention to those letters. Have we met before? H V T B F O R question mark. Unless it's the white letters we're supposed to be paying attention to. You must be looking for something. T B L N F. R T H N Ah Let me guess You're here for her, aren't you? So far it's just me gibberish, by the way As expected But maybe it will be a password or something weird Follow me I'm not sure if I should trust these glowing eyes in the darkness. Ben. Um, I am a... Mouse cursor? You will a little literal with my player avatar? Gonna... Kinda like try to branch the sides a little bit. Cause it reminds me of Faith. Or if you branch certain ways, you really want me to follow you, huh? Like, no questions asked, like... No. I'm not following you. Yeah. So, I mean, unless it's like you gotta do it like a hundred times. It's just a follow the correct one minigame. But then there was like another one here. And then you went in all the paths, and I'm gonna go to the left one. Huh. Then what's the point? One's probably like slightly different or something. Yeah, it's like, it's the face. Dun dun. Hey, there's a house. Can't go in the house. And then there's a... Well, whatever it is, we screen changed. Here we are, my friend. Okay, these purple letters are really bothering me. Once you open this door, Denji, your journey will begin. Are you excited to finally meet her? Ha <laughs> ha. Go on. The bunny is waiting. Interesting. Well, we're opening the door. So the perspective is it from a computer. So I'm gonna assume we're... I'm not sure if we're an animal person ourselves. It could just be this is an animal person's game. The Bunny Garden. Start game. Yay.
decent loading screen on that. Um, there's another hand. Hi. Huh? A floating hand, just like you. It seems to be wearing a silver ring on its index finger. Take note of that. Looks like it wants to show you something. Let's find out. Well, first I'm gonna, like, fly this hand everywhere else but there. Bird. Because there could be secrets. No, we're good. Or are we? Lovely garden. What's that crossed out? This area seems to be off limits. Huh. North. Handy Pal Cabin Sky's Garden. East. The Labyrinth. So we can't go in the Labyrinth. Very specific. Or it could, you know... Could be we just aren't allowed to access it just yet. Could be nothing bad there, too. Oh, well. There's something suspicious about this well. There's kind of a clearing to the left a little bit. I'm not sure if that matters. See it? We might be just looping back over into there too. Like, we're gonna make a left turn up here at the, the bend. Hmm? No, nothing. Hi. What? Oh, you're playing with a, uh, yeah. What? no, there's a lot of hands. Wait a minute. It's a whole damn hand species. Yeah, okay, I was right. So it, it bended to the left. Hands off. Looks like it's pretty tired. Oh, I get. They're all handymen. A strange-looking sculpture. Seems very impressive, to be honest. Its shape seems to remind you of something. A rabbit? Ben? Looks fun. Eh. Okay, that's where it wants me to go. So let's go back and check out the area a little bit more. What's this? Handy Pal Cabin. Oh yeah, because they're Handy Pals. Knock, knock. Knuckles. I said, like, literally, my, like, my name is Knuckles. Like, I am flying Knuckles here. No answer. As I turn out, this is just a prequel to Smash Brothers. <laughs> Young Master Hand grew up in the wonderful forest. Then. Hey there, partner. Name's Sky. Sky the Bunny. I'm guessing number eight brought you here, right? Numbers? That's great. It makes me so happy to see little hands like you hanging out around here. I mean, some of y'all don't even go outside. Always watching TV and doing nothing. Anyway, I think I'm getting a bit sidetracked. Now that you're here and all, I'm gonna be an honest with you. Looking after this place by myself and my handy pals has been a pain in the butt. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're all really helpful. But sometimes, they get pretty lazy. So I was thinking, 
How about you help me out here too? Maybe you and I can make this little garden something special. It'll be fun, I promise. So what do you say? Are you up for the job, partner? No. Pretty please? No. Pretty please? No. Please? No. Oh, come on. No. Oh, come on. No. Pretty please? No. No. Awesome! Well, see you there, bud. Here's the thing about these worlds. Never trust anyone with a smile. Because if some cartoon character is going to like stab you in the back, they're going to have a smile, right? They're not going to come in there with like, realistically like a voice by Tim Curry or something. Like, I'm going to stab you in the back. No, they're going to have a smile. It's a new era, you know. We don't have like classic Disney villains anymore. See, it's got to be deconstructed. Villain's got a little smart. Secret? Useless. Secret? Useless. You're here! Welcome to my garden. So this is your first day helping me out. I'll teach you some of the basics. Come on, let's start planting some flowers. Although I don't think this is, um, I mentioned like a cartoon because I was just making a joke. But um, I think this is supposed to be more of a corrupted, uh, not Animal Crossing because it has animals, but more like Harvest Moon, that kind of spectrum of games. Hit the interact button or left click when the ring touches a circle. Um, graphically, it makes you think of like Game Boy Advance, I would say. Early DS or Game Boy Advance or late DS, depending on what game it was. Oh, yeah, this game is live. I thought it was a tutorial. I was just like sitting here like, when's this game going to start? Oh, it was a tutorial. Okay. Oh, it looks like your performance bar took a hit. Trying to get it to zero, else you have to start over. Try to stay focused. I know you can do it, pal. What happens if I just fail? I'm just gonna, yeah. You know what? I'm rebelling. Too bad. Well, that was embarrassing. It's all good, though. I mean, it's your first day and all. I'm just gonna mess up your farm out of fun. So don't worry. Let's give it another try. Mmm. Let's try failing again. No. 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 Maybe. No. Seriously, no. Well, it just make you eventually just make us skip the minigame. Alright. This might take a bit longer than I expected. You know what these games are? These are just annoyance simulators. Not for us. For the characters in the world. Like, how much can the player annoy these people? Yep. Just gotta wait this one out. Yeah, I think it is. Like, you, you gotta eventually beat the minigame. Nice. Fail. Nice. Oh, you can just keep it like running. Nice. Nice. How many holes you want me to dig? Then why am I doing free labor for you? I'm not like, you know, from your world. Not like those other hands. I'm a hand with free will. Wow, nice work. 
Looks like you're done with the digging part. I'll call up one of my handy pals to help you out with this next part. Number 8, come here a sec. What do you mean you can't find number 8? Uh, just give me number 3 then. Number 8 was the one we met earlier with the ring. The ring is very specific. Gotta bury these holes. I don't like when, like, patterns go slow, you know what I mean? It's like playing a slow song in DDR, right? Like, you'll ace, like, a fast song, you get to a slow one, and you're like, what's going on? I got water. Nice! You got some illegal, like, fertilizer in this. These plants are popping up instantly. Good job! Oh, you're done already? Thank God. Thank you so much for helping me out here. If you excuse me, I'm gonna go do something. I'm boring. But don't worry. In the meantime, you can get to know all of your handy pals. See ya! No, I'm just saying, it's a little fishy. You come into this world fresh and we're all being roped into free labor. Saying like, oh yeah, just hang out with your handy pals. No secrets here. From what I can tell. A small wooden shed. Probably where the gardening tools are kept. You sure? Double check. Okay, okay, you know, just double checking. That's where we did our work. Growing flowers. I guess we're done over here. You like flowers a lot, huh? Don't blame you. I have a lot of flowers myself. You know, I also have food crops, too. Don't see any of those around. Hmm. Hmm. There's a lot of handy pals over... here. Here. And here. It's time to meet your fellow handy pals. Oh boy! No answer, but looks like there's someone inside. Well, the rabbit's in there. Then. Basketball. Hoopin. Score 15 points before time runs out. Wow! Full f yeah, full fledged mini games. Nice. Ow. As you know, it counted. Yes. Interesting that I'm not even sure we got that first one. I'll be honest. That one might not make it. Yeah, it's basically start at the top of the arch, and I already accidentally started. But it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Wait, can we do that again? No. <laughs> I was worried that the game didn't have like a, a process logic to like handle that, but it it did. Um, I need to stop double-clicking. I mean, it's fine. This game is, uh, pretty easy. I'm just messing around at this point. I'm trying to break the limits. Yeah, that's right! Wow. It's almost, like, impossible to fail if you're at any of the top angles, except for that one time where I got, like, stuck. What's the point? Like 15? I mean, we're gonna get that in a second here. Good job!
You found a piece of paper? Curious. Curious indeed. We're passing like notes. Rock, paper, scissors. Choose your attack and show number four who's boss. Choose your attack. Paper. 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 Just wait, wait for it. The strategy works. I tested this in a rock, paper, scissors tournament once. It literally worked. Don't worry, it's all gonna come together. See, it's coming together. Just you just gotta be patient with this stuff. No way they're gonna use paper again, am I right? Yeah, yeah, see? Oh, well, I told you. This was tested against multiple people in a rock, paper, scissors tournament. This literally will get you the win. Nothing but paper, it's a science. No, nah, that's cool. It's cool, it's just a temporary setback. You know, the AI is cheating, right? It's reading my mind. Against actual human players, this is actually, like I said, I, I've used this against human beings and determined this worked. Hmm. Paper! You did a good job, Kaiba. But I believed in the heart of the paper. You found a piece of paper. It's still sleeping. Is it sleeping? Can you find us? Find all the handy pals before time grinds out. Two, one, start. Just doing like a voice of Mario Party. Start! Now, are you all like hiding in this area or like. Like, how's this going down? I'm gonna have to chase you all over the place. You're right there, by the way. Oh yeah, there's a hand right here too. Yeah, no, they're all over the place. And there's one right here. How many of you all? There's never one. Oh, there's a lot of you hiding out, aren't you? It's like, a damn, like, big boss up in here of your camo. Oh, there's one over here, too. You got him! Finish! You found a piece of paper. Up, left, down, start, right? Huh. One of the handy pals is heading to the well. You should f go and find out what's going on. There could be a maze in the well, and you have to like go in different directions. Oh, you've got some secrets down here. Knock knock. Oh, password. Oops.
wrong. <laughs> All right, come in. It was literally just the Konami pass. It's not literally the Konami password, but... Is this where the hands all meet? We conspire to, like, uprise? Hmm. There's some graffiti. The art on the wall says no bunnies allowed. Yeah, it is a anti, like... It's a hand rebellion. There's a bunch of spray cans on the floor and a small wooden table. The art on the wall says I love box. Box? The art on the wall says no more rules. Alright, I like, I like the angle they're going on with here. It's not just like, oh, they're eating people! Like, some kind of gory twist. There's like a little bit more like a... angle going on, you know what I mean? Because I remember I did point out, like, ah, oh, it's kind of curious how they're just roping all these hands into like free labor. Like, oh, the game's addressing it. Through you. I'm pretty sure you're a bunny yourself. Are, are you just the same bunny in like different outfits? Like, creating a weird... Fake coup. Sup, dude? So you found my secret hideout, huh? That's kinda impressive. Not gonna lie. But I'm gonna be real with you for a sec. Something about you seems kinda weird, my dude. I don't wanna judge or anything, but I've never seen a handy pal as pale looking as you, dude. Wow, rude! I'm not getting the vibes and only give of all the ever panty pals. Did Rom run out of gloves or something? Mom. You know what? I got a challenge for you, my dude. We're actually starting a competition in a couple of minutes. So, if you like, win the competition. You'll earn my trust. Sound good? No. I mean, yeah, cool, I guess, but... You're gonna miss out on the coolest event of your life, my dude. No. I mean, yeah, cool, I guess, but... You're gonna miss out on the coolest event of your life, my dude. We might be railroaded this time. Like, literally. Awesome, dude. Let's get this party started. Wait, I almost forgot. Name's Boxers. <laughs> it's like you wear a box. Alright, time to go. It's starting to get dark outside. The handy pals are starting to get worried. The cabin's door has been locked for a while. What's going on in there? Yeah, there's the one with the ring. Just to reiterate. If one of y'all gets past that labyrinth, things are not gonna go well around here. Understand? Your actions will put all of your pals at risk. So don't even think of going down there again. Oh, look at the time. The little handy pals have been waiting for hours now. I'm sorry if I make you all wait so long. I'm gonna head home now. Well, you should all take a nap. Especially you, number eight. Number eight, what are you doing? It's a trap. Well, look who it is. The one and only number eight. Hmm, those eyes. Sneaking out again, aren't we? 
Seems like you don't understand the severity of this situation. Do I have to teach you some manners? I'll take that as a yes. Oh god, it was like Toon Murder. The Bunny Graveyard. So is the graveyard portion referring to the Handy Pals? Congratulations, you made it to the end of the demo. We just played were the first 30 minutes of the game. But the Bunny Graveyard story is bigger than you think. You'll be exploring the haunting streets of Carrot Town. Oh, so you'll be playing as the bunny, not just the hand. Gardening with your fellow Handy Pals. Escaping from the terrifying monsters. And meeting strange new friends. While uncovering the horrifying mystery behind the bunny graveyard. As you can see, this is a big project. Which is why we'll be releasing the game in five chapters. Each one will be different and unique, while still packed with hours of content. You gotta be careful about the chapter release thing. It all... Depends on your executions. It's tricky. And once you purchase the early access version... You'll have access to all upcoming chapters. We'll be sharing updates on the game's progress and our social media accounts, so stay tuned. Thank you for playing the demo. So there was actually an earlier demo, by the way. Um, a very, very short kind of teaser one. I'm going to show that one, too. Because it may give us some, like, information about the context of this world a little bit. So this was the first demo they made for the Bunny Graveyard. It's called 4 one um, it was kind of a teaser, but I'm going to dig through this also to kind of like have a complete experience and see if we're kind of missing anything as far as upcoming lore or whatever. So it also starts with a computer. A big theme seems to be that this is actually a game. Click the page to view instructions. These instructions are very confusing. Research notes. Symbols from yesterday. Bun, Graveyard, Saturn, Sword. That could be a, a hand that's scribbled out. Um, carrot, and then Moon, me. Only five letters. Words or numbers. Important. Type the number, not the letter. A equals one, eight equals two. Codes are found by analyzing symbols on the page. I mean, I kind of figured that one out. Then if I have a word that matches a symbol, Enter the word that replaces letters by the respective numbers. Yeah, so it's what I thought. Uh, I'm curious once again, you know, those letters that were a different color back at the other game. I'm a little curious about that. So the first one, you know, we already know it's bunny. The second one's grave. That's five letters. This one can't be Saturn because there's not five letters. Orbit? It's not planet either. It could also be space, but that could also go for like the moon. Sword is sword, because that's five letters. I see how this is gonna go down. So we just need to figure out each symbol and then input their number. Um, it looks like we basically create a mini game. So this is Bunny. So I've actually been following this game for quite a, quite some time. Um, uh, I actually knew about this little like teaser demo, but without the context of the game, I was waiting for the ever demo. I feel like it's probably gonna be a little confusing. I feel like it works a little better like this. Interesting. Now, is there only? There is two. But yeah, the demo for the um, new demo is like dropped like, it was like 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> for me, anyway. And we just enter the void. 
This sucks. There's numbers. Like, this is like a one, right? This is clearly like intentional. Five eight. One five eight. There's a number right here. See the uh green? Like that was the one. This is Is it a zero? Yeah, I think it's just a z maybe it's a zero. One five eight zero. That's possibly a two. One five eight zero two. Need one more of these worms. Yeah, it's a two. Um we'll try on putting this code into the computer. Yay. I I don't really know what that accomplished. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, there's things here. Four. We have to be in numbers now. Wait, no, we don't. Well, the reason we probably have an extra number is that one of them is, uh... One's like 20 or something like that. Anyway, we solved Rabbit. The other one's probably Grave. Yep, work. It was Grave. Hmm. Literally just a grave. I'm such a big fan of horror. I don't know why, but I just like getting scared once in a while. The monsters are... Oh, the monsters are so cool, too. Okay. I think that's it. I don't want to be here. So there was a note for this one, too. Um, and also notice, you know, the bunny avatar. It's got that little hard eye patch thing going. Okay, let's do this one. There's a few things I think it could be. Okay, it was just space. It's pretty easy, actually. As soon as you narrow down the amount of letters, like, it becomes much easier. And look, space. A boy has a right to dream. My brother got me into Starfighter X now, a cool little game about a group of space rangers on their quest to save the galaxy. I think I'm getting addicted. Huh, good for you. Hmm. But what do the numbers mean? That is space down sword. It should be 1923. 15, 18, 4. Yeah, Sword in the Stone. Yesterday we got to see a pretty cool movie. I forgot most of the plot, but that sword was so cool looking. I wish Mom could get me one. Huh. What is the crossed out one? Like, I was trying to bait if it was like a skull or a, the hands or something. The uh, food one was a little tricky. Because there was a lot, wasn't like a not lot of numbers and uh, word combinations. Um, But I think it's feast. Like a feast of carrots. Yeah. I kept thinking like, oh, like supper, oh, no, you let her off, and then like this, and like that, and like carrot is too big, food is too small, foods is probably not really a word in this context. Um, but yeah, looks like there's a meal, or a lack of one. My mom loves carrots. Don't get me started on carrot soup. Apparently they're good for your eyes? Maybe that's why she loves them so much. Huh. Okay, so the moon was dream. 
Um, I, I was thinking it was like maybe like night or uh, sleep or something. But no, those, those didn't work. I've been having this weird dream recently. It's like an endless loop of circles taking me somewhere, but never reaches its destination. Huh. Now what is that one? The crossed out one. So, let's see if this works. Let's see everything it can be, because the hand variations, it's, it's not a hand. Because you remember I said it was possibly a skull that was crossed out? Yeah, it's depth. Hello? So that was a number from, uh... Oh, that was the number we found in the other world, by the way. Thanks for playing. Okay, so this time I started for a save, I just wanted to try that code really early. It seems you still have some work to do, my friend. Let us not rush our upcoming meaning. Okay, they stop you from entering it too early. Yeah, so it was... It's a skull, but because like it's hard to make out a little bit, you have to find the password within the, the bunny world to kind of guide you. So that's it for the bunny graveyard demo. Now, the premise of the actual game is... You apparently play as Sky, by the way, you, who seems like an antagonistic figure here, at least. Um, and going about the screenshots and everything, you use your hand to kind of control and guide Sky to, like, solve puzzles. It's kind of like a partnership, I think. That's my guess. But Sky has a, um, a heart eye patch in the actual game compared to, like, you know, what we're seeing now. I'm a little curious about that. And you're looking for your brother. And, uh, now I'm wondering, if there, is there a twist where the sibling is the one that killed the hand in the end? You know what I mean? Like, they could just be twins. So to the hand, you know, they don't see any difference, right? If they're wearing the same outfit. But then you have the other bunny in the well. You know, boxer or whatever. So we don't really have much to go on. Um, we do have a little bit from the other game. The the earlier demo, which did mention, like, siblings and playing PC games and this and that. And then you get attacked in the end by uh, the evil bunny. And we know that's going to be episodic. Like I said, that that's a little bit tricky. You got to be careful. Because you can... If your episodes are too long between each other, you can lose all energy for the series. I've seen it happen with even very popular ones. And then, if you get too concerned with listening to feedback a little too hard between episodes, you can sometimes change a game writing-wise or even gameplay-wise for the worse. There's a little there's a little balance you have to kind of hit. Because sometimes, you know, fandoms will build up and they'll be like, Whoa, like, what happens if this happened? And you'll be like, oh man, I don't want to break their expectations. You end up writing something in that kind of compromises the story. I'm not saying it's going to go wrong. We've seen episodic things also be successful. It's just, it just adds another level of complexity. But I think it's very promising. Um, and some people will be saying, like, oh, it's the cute things are actually horror stuff. Well, you have to remember all horror starts as pr basically normal. Then the horror kicks in. Very rarely do you have, like, horror, 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 horror. So it's just a natural evolution of, like, a genre. Like, you kind of, like, have to have that contrast or the horror is just, this is just real life, right? Like, you need to see people living a normal life before something happens to them. Like, the teenagers need to be partying before Jason appears. Or the cute world needs to have, like, a dark underlayment. Because horror can very, very rarely exist without contrast. Even if it's just normal world, weird world. But they're, the way they're doing it is not the typical twisted way, which I appreciated. Um, as we saw, like, we didn't necessarily see anything too dark, like, oh, there's bodies everywhere. Like, you know, there was, like, some weird implications about labor rights with the hands. And they even go out on the screenshots and the trailers. It doesn't look like it's gonna be just, like, here's a bunch of edgy stuff. I got a little more closer to vibe to something that, say, Daniel Mullins would make. I'm not saying that they're inspired by Daniel Mullins, but just more in the sense that Daniel Mullins, when they make their horror games, they're not just, here's a bunch of edgy stuff. They're, there's a bit of a story and there's a bit of a kind of flow to it, if you know what I mean. 
and they, they usually focused on like set pieces and writing. So I see that there's potential here for that, Just, I, but I'm just going on screenshots right now. And I'm going on the effort in the uh, sprite work and animations and the cutscenes, which are very good. It's, it's nice. It, it doesn't have like a cheap look at all. It looks like I said, like, like a, a higher end Game Boy Advance game graphically or um, DS because there was a lot of DS games were like 2D also. But yeah, it's promising. I've been following it for uh, quite some time now. Even stay up to like 3 a.m. to play the demo. You know, and I'm uh, looking forward to its eventual release. Or well, at least episode one's release anyway. But yeah. So, thank you all for watching play the Bunny Graveyard demo. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.